I am Gregory, and this is Pensane. <laughs> On the table, we have a very exciting package. I had been looking into ink flight for a very long time. <laughs> But it seemed like every time I went on the website, it was said, sold out, sold out, sold out. Well, I finally got my timing right. So this, I believe, is the November ink flight. And I'll, I'll put more details probably in the description if you want to check that out. So basically, uh, you know, an ink subscription service. And yeah, let's check this out. All right, so I believe this talks about what's in it. Ooh, we have this interesting package. I assume that's the ink, inks. A nice holographic sticker for ink journal. That's very, very cool. <laughs> Excellent. Ooh. Looks like some fun paper. So, Eurofoil, loose sheets, A5, uh, five millimeter dot grid, 100 sheets. Yeah, made in Japan. So, some nice Japanese paper. Very cool. All right, so the main deal with ink, ink flight is, of course, the ink, of which you get seven, looks like, seven. All right, I suppose we can take a look at this now. Welcome, ink travelers. True to his name, Octopus Fluids is an ink manufacturing company based in Dresden, Germany. For over 10 years, Octopus's uh, chemists developed creative, technical, and specialty inks. They produced writing inks with pleasant shades, low feathering, and fast dry times. That sounds like my kind of ink. So there's Octopus Fluids CPS Schwarz. Write with vintage style using this dark, woody, neutral brown ink. I love brown inks. Octopus Fluids Aubergine. This charming purple ink has a blue halo with some light sheen. Ooh, interesting. Octopus Fluids Orange. Another uh, favorite color of mine for inks. Bright and cheery, this juicy golden orange color has smoky shading. Octopus Fluids Brilliant Rot. <laughs> this bold red stands out, stands out on the page like fire. Octopus Fluids Pebble Stone. Part of the pastel collection, this light gray ink has a soft appearance that shades well. Excellent, excellent. I do enjoy gray inks. I'm a little worried it might be too light, though. But let's, yeah. Uh, Octopus Fluids Carabic. Sail the refreshing waves of this aqua blue-green ink. Octopus Fluids Wine Rot. V Vine Rot, since it's German, I guess. <laughs> uh, this saturated deep burgundy red has a dark sheen. Ooh, nice. And then, uh, Sake Technical Paper Aerofull A5 Loose Sheet Tablet. Unleash the brilliance of color when you write or draw on the Japanese-made Aerofull 75 GSM paper. This paper showcases the vibrance and shading of fountain pen ink. It also resists feathering and show through. The 5mm dot grid offers plenty of creative options to use the 100 sheets. Some ideas on how you could use the Aerofoil A5 papers? Writing letters of thanks to friends, family, and business associates. Sketching out the layout of the, <laughs> the charcuterie board. I just recently learned what a charcuterie board is. Um, you know, basically a board with meats and cheeses. <laughs> Drafting the content of a website landing page. Designing a dungeon for a role-playing game. Keeping a gratitude log. Practicing Spencerian handwriting with a flex nib. Collecting inspirational quotes. Making holiday wish lists or pen wish lists. All right. And uh, Eric, and there you see his uh, Instagram, illustrated this month's Inky Experiment sticker. Stay curious, pen pals. Nice. Ink flight. Ah, October. Okay, this is the October 2022. Well, and then this says November 2022. <laughs> so, I... I don't know. What does this what does this mean? <laughs> Again, this was my first time subscribing, uh, so I'm I'm not quite sure what that means. Is it bi monthly? Maybe that's what that means. I don't know. Now, one thing I will say with these, um, and I I knew this going into it, 
So, you know, there's seven of them, but they are very small. I, I believe they're two milliliter um, samples. Um, so I honestly, I probably wouldn't do swabs with these. Um, just because, you know, there's a limited amount. But that's what glass pens are for, right? <laughs> I, th I think I do want to hold off on using the paper. So we are going to bust out my trusty caliper notebook. Okay, so first we have Octopus Fluids Carabic. Ooh, I like that. Next we have Brilliant Rot. <laughs> I love that name. Okay, just a bright red. Oh, now this one, I have high hopes. Sepia Schwarz. Schwarz. Schwarz? <laughs> Sepia Schwarz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's pretty darn dark for sepia. <laughs> uh, perhaps a, a brown black. And of course, these, you know, glass dip pens put down, oops, put down a lot of ink, so... And we have vine rot. A nice deep purple. Then we have aubergine. Okay, now that's a deep purple. So that is more like a, a maroon or a wine color yeah which makes sense just a couple more pebble stone now sometimes really light inks don't come off very well on on glass nibs so we'll, we'll see how this one comes out wow that looks super watery i'm wondering if i just had water still on the <laughs> Let me try this. Because it seems like maybe I still had some water on the nib, uh, which is entirely possible. No, that's, that's basically it. It's, it's a very watery ink. Interesting. And the last one, and again, I'm, I'm very curious about this one. Orange, a nice plain name. <laughs> excellent, excellent, I do like it. It does remind me a bit of a couple oranges I have in my collection, including uh, this one here, Karandash uh, from their Chromatics uh, Electric Orange. that bottle <laughs> but this the Karan Dash I I don't think it shades much at all whereas this looks like I, I think I see some shading there yeah so I am very pleased with these my favorites are definitely the Karabik this one is a little, just a little too pink leaning for me. I have Diamine Scarlet, which is very heavily pink leaning. So it'd be a little too similar to that. The sepia is good. I, I, I think it might look more sepia with a, a fine nib. And I, I like that it's it's essentially a, a brown black, so 
Yeah. A uh, vine rot. That is excellent. I love that. I love that. That might be my favorite out of the bunch. But this uh, aubergine. That is. There's some very very nice shading going on there. So I think these two are probably going to be my favorites. This one, I'm not sure. Um, Pebble Stone. I mean, I do love my gray inks and it, it didn't, I don't know, it, it, going down, it just seemed very watery. But now that it's drying, it looks quite nice actually. So I don't know, I don't know. And this one, you're getting some really nice shading going on, actually. You get some lighter bits and almost a, a orange-red halo going around the, the edge of the, the little swatch there. Yeah, so I am very, very pleased with these. I'm excited about my, my sticker there, very cool. And I'll be looking forward to using this paper. But yeah, I, I couldn't I couldn't bring myself to do this test on it. I didn't want to write out all the names because I, I don't want this to be a super long video. Um, but yeah, my first ink flight experience is very, very good. So yeah, there will definitely be more of these. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.